Hey, what is up guys? Ethan here. Today I'm covering the new Rust Industrial Update. As you guys can see, there are some new items in Rust. Um, there's an electric furnace, there's auto sorting, and there's auto crafting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all these items in a practical example so you guys can better understand what is going on here. So we're going to go in over here. I'm going to turn everything on and show you guys how it all works. So these are industrial converters. These bring boxes, uh, loot from boxes to other items such as these industrial crafters. As you can see, you can have multiple on a workbench at once. So we're going to go ahead and turn everything on here. Um, so this is going to go ahead and bring the stuff for a syringe over here to this industrial crafter. As you can see, you put the blueprint in and um, the boxes are filling up the input right here. And if we go ahead and turn this on, you guys will see it's starting to work. So it's going to start crafting syringes in this output. We're going to go ahead and turn on this uh, converter over here, and that's going to start putting those syringes into this box right here. We're going to go ahead and start, um, as well as this one too. We also have some 556 five, going right here. So we put the BP at the top, put in the inputs. So that's automatically coming from these boxes over here. So we just got to fill these, and it will go ahead and throw that in the crafters for us automatically. Pop up the results here, or the uh, outputs rather. And if we go on over here, we have the electric furnace. Go ahead and turn that on. As you guys can see, I have ore going in over here. So if we turn on this converter, that's going to start pumping in the ore into the converter, out into this furnace. And then the furnace output is going to be coming on over here. And it's going to be joining this box over here with this industrial combiner. So as you guys can see, we got two outputs from two different items coming into one. And that's going to feed into this combiner, which is going to then feed into the splitter. The split is going to go ahead and divide it up into separate boxes if you want. So if we turn these on, uh, turn that one on as well. As you guys can see, the syringes are going in there. The 556 is going in there. And the metal from the electric furnace is going on into this box right here. And of course, you guys could go ahead and instead of having three different boxes, you could um, feed all of these industrial outputs from all of these um, con conveyors. I don't know if I've been calling them converters or not, but out of these conveyor outputs, you can go ahead and feed those into these industrial combiners into one box if you'd like. That is also an option. Now we're going to go on to the actual power um, requirements for each of these different parts. So as you can see, these storage adapters do not need any power. The only things that need power over here are these conveyors. These conveyors all need an input. Um, and then these industrial crafters also require an input. Um, so that is that for the um, power requirements nothing else needs power except obviously the electric furnace um, none of these storage adapters none of these splitters or combiners need any sort of power so uh, just make sure you guys have enough power for all these different conveyors obviously you can go ahead and streamline this example and make it a lot more cost effective but yeah guys that's one practical example of how you can use this new update and that's auto crafting auto sorting and the electric furnace for you I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video by showing you guys the um, conveyors. I didn't actually show you guys the filters. You can go into the filters here. You can add items. So if I'm using this, it did have low grade frags and all that in there. You can go ahead and not have a filter and it's going to put all the items through the conveyor. Or you can go ahead and set filters as well if you want to go ahead and drop other items off in here and not have them actually go in the crafter. If you just want to drop uh, like... Maybe you get a kit, you want to just quickly put it away, throw the kit in here. The filter will go ahead and make sure that it doesn't actually end up going into the craft input. So I just thought I'd throw that in the video real quick. I didn't actually show you that. And then one thing I forgot to mention, um, these pipes do not actually take up physical space in the sense that you're not going to go ahead and collide with them. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. If I go ahead and connect this up here. You guys can see I can go ahead and walk through the pipe, so it's not going to actually be blocking your path, but you do need to actually um, route it in such a way where it's not colliding, because if you go on up here, if I clear this output, you can see I can't actually put the pipe through the shelf. It says the pipe is blocked, so that's just one thing to consider, guys. You can't uh, like put it through walls or bunkers or anything like that, so... Just one little consideration to keep in mind. But yeah, guys, that is the new Rust Industrial Update in a nutshell. I hope the video helped. If it did, please do a like. It really does help out the channel a lot. And I'll be posting some bases in the near future with all this stuff included. So look forward to posting that. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Adios.